Welcome to my channel. My name is Ayana and this is Teacher's Treehouse. In today's video, I want to show you how you can manage multiple calendars using Outlook Calendar. Outlook Calendar. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, Outlook Calendar. Let's go. In uh, a previous video, I showed you how to create a calendar by just going here to add calendar. If you haven't checked that out, please do. Um, so I created another calendar called Student and Group Meetings. This will not be a shared calendar with my students. I'll probably share this with other teachers so that we can put in our Zoom links together and plan on around student meetings. I have on my basic calendar, so you can see here the two split view calendars. So I have my calendar on this side and my student group meetings calendar here. You can choose to keep them in split view and just view them side by side, which sometimes I really like. I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn on my class schedule and turn off my basic calendar. And then you can see my class schedule paired up next to my student group meetings. In my student group meetings, I only have one event that's reoccurring right now, which is our intervention groups. They'll be from 11.45 to 12.15 every day. And for this week, they'll be starting on Tuesday. So I'm going to show you how I did that. You would go to, um, it'll just say repeat. It won't have all of this. It'll just say repeat. You'll click that, go to custom or every week. But I like to go to custom because then you can choose the days. Down here, you can choose when it ends. And up here, you can choose the start date, which for us, it was Tuesday the 25th. And I put there. And then my end date, I just ended at the this week just in case times or something changed the following week. So I just made it reoccurring for one week, save, make sure that it's in the correct calendar here. And then I can categorize it, which is basically just giving it like a tag and I put a color to each tag. So this is in my teacher notes interventions tag and my basic interventions tag. Then I would hit save. And now it's there. So I can see my view side by side, but I also like to kind of combine these two so that they overlap. So you go up here to your view choice and you unclick split view. Now they're on top of each other and you can see my intervention crossing right through here. Um, the, it will change, oh yeah, look at that. So now I see that on Wednesdays, I'll have to change the time because we have art early in the morning on this week. This is an every other week type of event, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on this Wednesday. I'm going to edit this. Uh, let me do this and all the following. Wait, 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 wait. All. Um, this one is just a... Wait, 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 wait. Discard. Let me start that again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit all of these. I'm going to take off Wednesday and I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to create a new Wednesday event. My ELA block will end at 1230 here. So that means that I will start my intervention. I'm in my correct one. I'm going to change it to my interventions category. And this is intervention time. will be 1230 to 1 o'clock and this will repeat every week no every two weeks on Wednesday until let's go up to September 4th oh wait I ended the rest of them at this week so let's just stick with the rest we'll stop at the 28th Every two weeks, Wednesday only, save. Okay. Now, if I wanted to add in a Zoom meeting, I would just click here and add a Zoom meeting, and then it'll just kind of pop up for me. I do not want a 15-minute reminder. I'll take a reminder at the time of the event. And then here is your descriptions box. You can put little emojis, some apples, and some books. And I could type in what our learning goal is going to be for that day. Learning goal is use context clues. 
Boom, and there it is. Nice. I can also show my staff calendar that can overlap. And then I can see that my kids start are early because I have fourth grade PLC on Wednesday. So that's why everything in my schedule is backed up a little bit. And then these are our events from my staff calendar. My class calendar is here. And then my student groups and meetings. Um, during my learning blocks, I'll probably be Zoom meeting with my students in small groups and one-to-one um, -one for early conferences in which I will be putting those on my student group meeting like calendar. So let's say I have a early conference with Jacob on Monday at 11 o'clock to 11.15. It'll be a Zoom meeting. I'm going to add in the description that he is a BK level reader. And his goal is prefixes. All right, and I'm going to hit save. Boom, there it is. And then when I check my daily schedule, I can see that Jacob has a conference here. Now, what's really cool about this is if I create this meeting, for me and Jacob, I can also, hold up, what's this? Know my location, get out of here. I can also share this with him. I would just go to invite attendees and put in his email address, which for us, like I said, is our students, um, student numbers at our county email address. So I would just put that in there. And when he logs in, what he would need to do is just simply like accept this meeting and then it would show up on his class schedule, just like this for him. He'd see his name, that he has an early meeting during this time at 11 o'clock, which is absolutely cool. So I'm looking forward to using this Outlook calendar as a shared calendar between me and my students and me and my other um, teachers. So if you have Outlook calendar, check it out. Tell me what you think. If you know any little like tips of using this in the browser, Oh, I did see one here, this, your calendar over here. This is cool. Let me just show you this real quick. I'm going to go to Monday the 24th and my ELA block. This one I already put some notes in, but look at that. You can get a little preview over here. <laughs> hey, isn't that cool? It doesn't work by just clicking on this. It doesn't update. You do have to like pick the day up here in your agenda, but you also have a to-do list. Whoop, whoop. So let me look for some more Outlook um, cool things. I'm gonna add that to my calendar, boom, and there it is. Once some of these things are done, you just like click that and it's done. Isn't that cool? You can also make it big and it'll open up a whole to-do page with lots of fun things to click around on. But I do like having this preview here and just kind of seeing what's in each block if I have any quick notes or any materials for them to grab really quick or for me to grab any quick notes, it's really nice to have just like a scroll through agenda here on the right. You toggle it on and off like this. You can also open up your calendar and hide it. Boom. Nice clean week. Jump to the day only if you want to just see that. I love it. And then get a preview here. You double click to see your full description. And then you're rocking and rolling. So yeah, this is how I'm going to be using Outlook Calendar with my students and Zoom. I'm going to be like hooking those two up and Calendly. It's going to be a nice little recipe. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you're using for your teacher planner this year. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.